hot. I should have left the intro without it so people could be like, oh, I wonder what her hair is gonna look like. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be trying out a $550, er? that's a lot of monies. US dollars. This is what it looks like right over here. This is the new Dyson Airwrap. I'm sure you guys have seen some reviews. Okay, I have as well. I've been seeing a lot of people using it. Even though I've seen reviews, I'm sure you guys have seen it online. I still wanted to know how it worked on my type of texture. My hair is super frizzy, curly, crazy hair. I love it. Okay, I love, I love it some days. Other days, it's just a predictable mess. And I needed to know if this is true truly gonna smooth out and make my blow drying process easier to justify the money. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. So let's look up the Carfax, if you will. I'm on Sephora's website. This thing retails for 549 US dollars. A lot of coin, okay? Let's go over the deets. It says it's a styler that is engineered for multiple hair types, very important, and styles featuring the Kawanda, Kawanda? Air styling and propelled by the Dyson digital motor so users can curl, wave, smooth, and dry with no extreme heat. Key benefits, no extreme heat damage. All right, how to use. Start with damp towel dried hair. That's what we got here. I let mine air dry just a pinch because I always do that before styling my hair when I blow it out. It's just easier to do. Apply mousse memory mist to damp hair. Mm, I don't really like mousse. So I'm not gonna do that. End with a cool shot to set the style. I'm just gonna try to go for a nice bouncy blowout. I've never used this before. I have no idea what's about to happen. I have curlier, frizzier hair, so I feel like I constantly have to smooth my hair out. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna work. This is what it comes in, which I think is super chic. I feel like with the price, you expect it to come with nice packaging. And this is a nice package. I opened it and already set it up with the tool that I'm planning on using. But you could either do like this hairbrush and then there's these things, little rollers here that go on. And then there's also this attachment which acts as a normal blow dryer if you want to use it for that. So the attachment I decided to use was the round brush one because that's typically what I use to blow out my hair is a round brush. So we'll see how this works. I'm going to first start with the front pieces because I always blow out the front of my hair just because if I don't, it'll get really curly and then I don't want that to happen when I want a smooth blowout. Before I turn it on, I will show you guys that it has different heat settings here. So there is cool, warm, hot, and the on button, and then over here, low, medium, high. All right, here we go. down to low. I was on medium. I felt like it was a little too much. Oh, okay, honey. She got some tendrils. I feel pretty good about that. Let me start now with the hard part, which is the long parts of my hair. I will let it be known now that I have individual keratin tip extensions throughout my hair. So there's two different hair textures going on all up in here. There's mine, which is a little bit more frizzy than the extension hair and probably more curly than the extension hair. And then there's the extension hair, which is a little bit smoother, but it does have a natural wave to it, which is nice. So when I air dry, it all kind of looks similar. I'm gonna try this a few different ways. I'm gonna try to use it as I would a normal round brush, and then I'm gonna try to wrap it around the tool to see how it does with a curl. I'm gonna wrap it. See what happens. I'm just gonna chill here for a minute. See what's going on on the gram. The bottom looks lit, but this is where I'm showing you guys. I think I need to smooth a little bit more up here with my texture. I wonder why that happened. Okay, let me try it again. Okay, so 
So this is the first strand that we have dry here. That probably took me three minutes. Let's see if I could speed this up a little bit. I'm gonna kick it up to full strength and see how much faster that works. it. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Okay. Okay. I will say I'm kind of enjoying this hair drying process. I feel like it's a little bit fun to use this thing. Let me continue. Okay. Do you guys see the bounce? This is giving me a nice bouncy blowout, which I like. This was my concern starting off was that my hair up here wouldn't get as frizz free because of the wand. With the round brush, I have to like constantly like smooth it out, smooth it out, smooth it out. I do notice a little bit of not smoothing, but I also don't wanna give my opinion too soon because I'm just starting to get used to it. So I'm gonna try over here, see what happens. Now I'm excited. I think I've got the hang of it now. Let me roll up my sleeves. Honestly, like I have a lot of hair. It probably takes me 45 minutes to an hour to blow out my hair when I do a smooth blowout. And then after I'll like curl it. So if this can give me body and a blowout at the same time, then it's gonna be worth it for me, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go in and just continue to do the same thing I've been doing. I will say, what is nice about this is once you get it a little bit dry and then you wrap it, it's nice that I can sit here and do stuff on my phone, like check my emails, go through Instagram and do all types of stuff. Whereas if I was blow drying it with a normal round brush and blow dryer, I'd continuously be doing my arm workouts. Just a thought. Do you guys see this? I'm getting better at the blowouts. Notice that I need to really hit the base a little bit more. I think I'm still damp in that area, so let me work on that. But overall, I think the shape is coming out a lot better now. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this top section. I'm watching Jane the Virgin as I do this. I just got into the show. I will let you know that I am Team Raphael, okay? This piece is just my hair over here, no extension hair. So I'm gonna try and just wrap it and see what happens. All right, let's unwrap it. Usually I don't blow dry my natural hair outside without the extension because I like it all to flow together but I wanted to see how it would handle my texture compared to the extension texture, and it seems really, really nice and bouncy. So... Not gonna lie to you guys, I got a little lazy at the top, which is usually what happens. Now that I finished, I wanna go over my pros and my cons. This thing is so lightweight, it weighs nothing, so a lot of times most blow dryers can be pretty heavy. That's nice that this is nothing. Another pro is once you wrap your hair around it, you can kind of sit and do other things as it's drying for you, opposed to when I round brush my hair, I'm constantly going like this, rolling it, constantly going like this, rolling it, and holding both arms up. It's nice that I only have to use one arm, honestly. I really, really enjoyed that through the whole process. I was watching Jane the Virgin, I was on my phone, so that's great. Another pro is that I like that it has so many different settings, so low, medium, high, air. When I got closer to the, all my little flyaways and stuff, I needed the least amount of air because they were kind of like going everywhere, so it was nice that I got to adjust between that. Another pro is that placement of the button that gives the cool shot of air is right here, so it's right where your thumb would be, and so once you get enough heat, you hit it with the cool shot and it sets the style, which is important for a blowout because it'll last longer. And of course the technology behind this air wrap, which makes it less damaging to your hair, that is a definite pro. All right, now let's go ahead and step over to the cons. Okay, let's talk about the cons. Number one, it's expensive. It's a lot of money. 
Okay, another con is that I wish this attachment, the round brush attachment, I wish there was one more with a bigger round brush attachment. You, typically, I use a bigger round brush for this. It, it, it takes me a little longer with how small this one is. It still works really great and it gives your hair a nice shape. Another thing is it takes a second to get used to. You wanna make sure you're not pulling your hair out when you unwrap the hair. But like all things, there's a learning curve to everything and the more you do it, the better you get. And other than that, I can't think of any other cons. You know what, I forgot to test out the other attachments, which I think I should really quick, so don't go. Uh, I've never used this, this little attachment. If this works out really, really well, then you're getting a blow dryer and essentially like some curling irons and a regular blow dryer and brush blow dryers for all you straight, naturally straight haired girls out there who it's like, you know, Katie, I'm talking to you. Let's try it this way. Let's follow the arrows. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Is it worth it? Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, okay. This is for loose curls and waves, and I feel like it did just that. I think I, I think that's cute. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. Tell Effortless. me, I look cute, right? Mm -hmm. Cute? Soup's cute. All right, cool. So we got to test that out. Final thoughts, I think this is a really great product. I think it's amazing. I was very skeptical on how it would work with my hair texture. To be honest, I thought maybe it wouldn't work too well, but overall, I think it did a really great job at smoothing out and giving my hair a lot of body. I think moving forward, I'm gonna be using this to blow out the majority of my hair, but then continue to use my round brush just for the top because I do feel like overall I can get the top smoother with my round brush. I'm not sure if that's just because that's what I'm used to, uh, but I just prefer that. Do you think it's worth it, yes or no? <laughs> ah, do I think it's worth it, yes or no? Okay, this, this is relative. Do I think it's worth it, yes or no? What kind of hair do you have and how much do you value your time? Okay, it's, it's relative. From my perspective, a bitch who spends 45 to an hour blow drying her hair all the time and complaining about it and my arms are tired and my hair is like pretty flat so I need the body, it's, it's worth it for me, okay? It's worth it for me. I think of it as my amount of time. It's a life invest. If this breaks, I'm gonna be so mad though. It better not break. I said what I said, do not come for me and get upset that I think 500 and something. It's my opinion. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. It's worth it. Okay. It's worth it. I understand it's expensive I do know that there is a Conair one that I've seen at Target. I have not tried it though I can't I can't say anything about it. So maybe go check that out. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there Okay, don't come for me. I don't know if you guys have checked out Mariana Hewitt's IG stories But she uses this and she has like silkier hair. I think from what I see. I mean that shit is like Pantene Pro-V commercial, but if you guys see it, it makes her hair look incredible, bouncy, amazing, the most beautiful blowout I've ever seen. It's really the reason I wanted to try this. I think they did the job, honestly. I would definitely set aside money. You would save up. And then I would get that. And you then would. I would throw all the other blow dryers away if I was... You guys got Keisha's box. seal of approval, the Dyson Air Wrap, so I guess we could all go home now. Keisha also likes to live high. He likes the finer things in life, so... <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it. What do you guys think about this tool? Honestly, let's let's have an honest discussion in the comments down below. Let me know if you think it's cool. Do you like it? Are you interested in trying it? Let me know. Talk to you guys later. I think since you're already here, why don't you just like hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I mean, while you're at it, like the video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Around blush, blush, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Regular blow dryer, round brush. Sorry, inconvenience to you back there.